Each year, Apple hosts this WWDC Developer Conference, giving us a sneak peek at new technology that's coming. This year, they unveiled iOS 14, a new version of the Mac, and new technology across iPad and Apple Watch. Let's take a look. So if you're new to the channel, I talk about entrepreneurship, design, and technology. So if you're interested in that, hit subscribe. This release of iOS 14 really introduces a lot of concepts around the proliferation of apps. There's so many apps on your phone that Apple really felt it was necessary to allow you to organize and really get at those apps more easily. Uh, the first is widgets. And so widgets makes a prominent emergence in this release, making it easy for you to take those applications and emerge some of the information from deep within those apps right on your home screen. You can take an application and if it provides a widget, you can introduce it to elements of your home screen. And these widgets come in different sizes, from small to large. You can sometimes customize the look and feel of these. But really, this allows you to see the insides of the application without even having to open the application. The second feature around the proliferation of apps is App Clips. I'm really excited about this feature. It allows you to install a small version of the app very quickly and easily. This can be walking up to a parking sign or a scooter or a restaurant that wants you to use their ordering system and without having to download a very large app you can have instant access to a smaller version of the application. I think app clips are really interesting technology because they give the consumer access to applications very quickly without having to download something very large, it gives them a taste of that experience. And I think it's interesting for developers because they don't have to compete with thousands or millions of applications in the app store to be discovered. If they're a retail establishment or if they're a transactional application that's out in the real world, it makes it easy to find that application and have that experience right away. The third element around the proliferation of apps is the organization of apps. And so Apple has made it easy for you to hide some of the secondary pages that you may not ever see and make it easy for you to access a lot of those applications from a quick shortcut screen that gets automatically organized. All of these features are really around the proliferation of apps and how we deal with a large collection of apps. Apple is also introducing improvements to Siri, again, to make it easy to get it information without necessarily having to open an app to find that information. There are lots of secondary improvements to things in iOS 14, including messages that have replies, better memoji, telephone calls that don't take up the full screen that are easy to ignore, and much more. The second trend I spotted was around transportation. Apple introduced features in its map product for bike routes, making it easier to see elevation, get bike-friendly directions. It introduced EV charging routes to give better directions for electric cars that need to charge up on route. And the third element around transportation is digital keys. And specifically with the BMW, they have a partnership and they're introducing a digital key that lives right in your digital wallet, making it easy for you to unlock the car, drive, and even share that key with friends and family if you need to. I think the thematic elements around transportation are really interesting and it points to Apple's future looking at mobility and transportation, bikes, EVs, and even scooters with app clips and how they're going to be at the center of mobility. The third key trend coming out of DubDub is the consolidation of technologies. Apple is taking a lot of their technology that's existed on the iPhone and the iPad and they're figuring out ways to bring it to the Mac. First and foremost, they're bringing the silicon or the system on a chip, the SOC, to the Mac. This means that the underlying circuitry of the Mac is now gonna be built by Apple, not Intel. And that means that we have a unified architecture across iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, and Mac. And this will allow Mac applications and iPad applications to really have more shared code base. And I think that's a good transition for the future. We're already starting to see iPad and iPhone applications being moved to the Mac using a technology called Catalyst. 
And with this release, we're also seeing Apple start to update the Mac user interface to be more touch friendly. There's more user interface controls that are touch oriented. They seem larger and more oriented for finger or hand interactions. And I think this is gonna be a larger trend. We can certainly anticipate Apple making touch friendly Macs in the future. And as more of these apps migrate over, the shared architecture will make it easier for professional apps such as Final Cut Pro, Xcode, Microsoft Office, Photoshop to live on a unified architecture experience across iPad, iPhone, and Mac. So the reason I like DubDub, it's a great lens to look at the future of technology and see where the puck is going. We can really see Apple's direction for the next year and a half. And if you're an entrepreneur or a startup, you can lean into those trends and technologies and be a first mover and first adopter of those technologies. I've seen this provide a great advantage to early stage startups and entrepreneurs looking to give themselves an advantage when compared to some of the larger companies that are sometimes slow to adopt new technologies. It also shows us larger trends in the marketplace. And so bikes and EVs are one of those larger trends that we're seeing Apple adopt. And we can see that proliferation across a larger ecosystem. So great trends to move into. I'm really excited about iOS 14. I think it introduces a number of great features that will make the application experience more consistent and easy to use. Overall, I think it's a nice release. It's gonna provide improvements. App Clips is really the exciting one for me. I think it'll change the way people download and interact with apps and provide really interesting opportunities. And on the Mac, I think it's a really interesting space where it really incentivizes developers to think about iPad apps today because in the future, those apps are also gonna be on the desktop. That's it for this one. Thanks for joining me. If you wanna hear more, leave a comment or subscribe. Appreciate your time, rock on.